What's up guys, we're back with some more raids today. Coming off of one of the best days of raiding yesterday, we got four jackpots back to back. Anyways, trying to continue on the jackpot spree today. Here's the base we're going to start raiding today. Now I know it's kind of silly, but check out his window shutters and window bars. They're all placed like the correct way. They're on the inside and the base is completely sheet metal. I don't know, but this base just looks well built to me. Now I did bring a 23 C4, I believe. That's kind of overkill for this thing, but just want to make sure we can do it. Server is popping off right now, so we're going to have to watch out for counters. But let's get in there and see what it looks like. I can already hear some flame turrets. Okay, no auto turrets in the actual base, and that's a sheet metal door, I believe. That could be a cheap path. Stone wall over there? That looks like just honeycombing, though. Hmm. I don't know. This could be going into the actual base, and it's still stone. Sheet metal door, as we saw. More stone portions over here. Yeah, I don't know. Since he's leaving these... First floor wall stone? I might just go for that. Let's take the opposite side of the door. We might be able to get to TC easily. We are going to have to do some drilling, but hopefully it doesn't become armored. Here we go. Let's try the back corner. Oh, yeah. It is armored, but that's a sleeper. This should be everything, probably. I mean, it's probably sleeping on the loot, right? All right, so 9C4 deep and one rocket. Can we get TC? Yes, TC! And it looks like maybe a solo. Doesn't have a clan. TC's not locked. We can get this thing sealed. Okay, that was a pretty simple raid. Like I said, 9C4 and a one rocket used. Should be decently easy to profit from that. Let's check these boxes he's sleeping on. One tech trash. All right, kind of lacking on comps. Hardly anything in there. This better not be his explosives box. Let's check this door here and we'll have to replace this TC, but we'll go for this door. It is armored. Oh, hold up. That was close. Oh, no way. Is this thing completely empty? Look at that. We didn't check TC, did we? All right, yeah, he's lacking. That's a disappointment. Looks like this dude is broke. Possibly. Galaxy Live. Uh, how is this base this big and he's got two boxes? Like, are you serious? Didn't even put low grade and there's counters. These guys are flying away. So, I don't know. Is there more loot like above or is this dude literally this poor? This is home. I guess we just take the L. I mean, we did. We used only 11 C4, so it's not the biggest L. Thought this dude would have a lot more stuff, how perfectly he built his face, but I guess I was wrong. All right, we'll keep on looking for something else promising. Man, I had high hopes for this base, but looks like he used everything. See you guys at the next raid. All right, dudes, I found something out here. Now, this obviously is an iceberg base. I want to classify this thing as big, maybe not like huge or massive, but bigger than the medium to small bases that we've been raiding this way. I did find some armored portions over here. Could be an interesting spot to blast into. The thing is just extremely wide, but only three stories tall. So I think I want to hit this thing from top down. And yeah, there is literally no door in this thing. So let's check out the top. Okay, we've got a few square portions here. Maybe these two by twos are loot rooms. At least that would be my guess. We could check stability too. 20% is the lowest. 15, okay. This thing's barely stable at all. I wonder if it's open below this. I guess we just go straight for the center two by two and then we can check these other ones if we don't find anything here. But let's send it. Assuming this thing has half floors and it's probably going to become armored, which is why I brought so many C4. But let's go for it. Yup, armored half floors just as I expected. I hope we have enough for this. Seven C4 in a rocket. At least there's no ramps though, which would make it twice as expensive. Kind of open down here. All right, we'll keep on going. And armored. Let me guess. Armored. Yep. We are running out of stuff here, but we should be getting close to the first floor. 
Come on, baby, show me something. Yes, coffins. Maybe his loot is here in the center. Okay, let's drop down. Kind of crazy how those coffins don't fall. That's a sleeper, I think. Oh my god, there's so many boxes in here. That's a TC too, guys. Let's go. I guess we leave that thing up. We'll kill one of these coffins. Yo, first coffin we check loaded with comps. Let's go. No tech trash in there, but we did get the laptops and CC cameras. Oh my god, guys. What? 260,000. So, okay. Well, I think we just hit the biggest jackpot of... I don't even know, a month at least. Let's stash this stuff in the raid base for sure. And then we'll check the rest of this loot. On the second crate we found, boys, 260,000 is sold for. Like, what? Let's freaking go, dudes. We are so set. Look at that inventory. We'll get this stuff stashed. And let's go check if he's got even more stuff in there. And we still have all of this to take. Bro, there's so much juice in here. Let's kill this coffin so we can get to the TC. Looks like ATK clan, possibly. Oh my god, they're stacked. More tech trash. Okay, can we, like, get into the freaking base yet? No. How much loot do these guys have? I don't understand why they're so rich. Finally. We're into the base. Let's get that TC. I want to start making this thing secure. Most compact bunker base possible. Check that out. Okay. At least we are all secure. Imagine he has even more stuff in here. M2. Dude is so rich, bro. Found all the sulfur already in a box, so nothing else in the TC. We got H2M, though. Start checking the rest of these boxes. How does he even access all of them, dude? All right, another M2. Keep stacking those explosives as well. Just keeps on coming, bro. More tech. Yo, all right, I'm gonna stop talking. This dude's just so rich. Oh my God. Well, I have a lot of sorting and organizing to do with all of this loot because he did not organize any of it for me. This was a crazy jackpot. Well, I'm gonna get to work on organizing all this stuff. I believe I checked all the boxes for you guys. The rest of the sulfur's in the raid base. I need to recycle all of this extra ammo too. And yeah, we're set for definitely the wipe. But anyways, I'll see you guys at the next raid. I have a lot of work here to do, moving in, recycling. All right guys, I'm still scouting for our third base to raid. Still can't believe how much sulfur we got from that second base, but I just wanted to shout out this clan. Now, I don't know who it is because they don't have a vending machine. Usually these massive bases are bragging about their loot and stuff, but just check this thing out, man. He's trying to make foundations like around the entire island, plus the China wall. Kind of want to go up there and ladder up and check out the actual base, but I'm going to hold myself back and we'll keep on searching for a third base to raid. Doubt we're going to be able to score anything close to 260,000 sulfur, but we'll try. I'll see you guys at the next raid. Just wanted to shout this base out. All right, well, I bet you guys are wondering what the heck do you even do with over 200,000 sulfur? Well, we've got a double cave base and check this out. There's auto turrets on each side. So this is a double cave where he has cave bases on the right and left. And you guys saw that turret. Obviously you see all these lasers. I love raiding caves, especially after we find a jackpot because we can instant off the back and be safe from counters. So I've got the ensign rockets crafted 100 c4 that's not enough to take one of these caves down i don't know 31 rockets and we need to pick the correct side of the cave to blast into hoping that the stuff is on the left which is the one i'm gonna go for so we'll start taking these turrets down i think we'll have to take down the ones on each side we can use the ensign rockets here and then we're gonna go for the left side cave here we go I think we're good on the right side. Now just need to work on the turrets on the left. Yeah, all those turrets are down. Now just take these ones down on the left. Ouch. I think we're good. Yeah, turrets down on both sides. So we'll start insetting this thing off once we start tossing C4 here. Need to wait for this fire to run down. 
Okay, here we go, dudes. Luckily, we got a couple walls for free just because he placed those turrets. And yeah, we'll, guess we'll drill through. Yo, what? We can almost like get up and around this cave, actually. Let's drill through this wall and we'll start heading towards the back. I'll instant off the pathway, too. Okay, first armored wall down. We've got the ensign rocket burning. Let's see what we got. Sheet metal. Why does he have sheet metal? Okay, we'll take that. Remember, loot can always be above on these cave bases, which is always possible. Yeah, maybe rockets are needed here. Let's clear this out. Let's take above and these four walls all at once. Eight rockets. I don't want to jinx myself here, but so far this thing has been a really cheap raid and we got coffins. Door pathway too? And this is on 13 HP. Let's see if there's anything above. Okay, we can literally access the rest of the space. Nothing above here though. We do have a door path. Let's check these coffins. And they're empty. Maybe we raided the wrong side of the cave. Let's take these doors down. TC, okay, controls, bed, cave base two. We gotta raid the other one. Luckily we only used 18 C4. Let's take the CC and we'll check the rest of these coffins. Okay, yeah, definitely not the right cave. We gotta go for the other one. Well, like I said, at least it was cheap. We'll hit this second one. All right, here we go, dudes. Fire's burning it. We're heading for the second cave. I ended up getting my own auto turret set up to cover my back. And just in case people do dodge the fire, we should be safe. And it all comes down to this. <laughs> this has got to be a massive jackpot. It's actually a twig foundation there. Hoping we can get a massive jackpot here. Oh, dude, this thing's like wide open over here. This is hurt though. Coffins on the top, that's a campfire coming through the ceiling, guys. Might be loot above. Let's take this turret down. Looking like there's definitely something up here with that campfire. Okay, we're all the way into the back corner now. Yo, this is looking good. And we can already access the top, this is Chaco Clan. Another auto turret up there. And we'll start checking these boxes, tools, meds. At least this one's organized. I'm liking it. Gear sets, weapons. What was in that furnace, by the way? Nothing back there. Here we go, dudes. We got TC. Bet this is going to be extremely juicy. I don't know if it'll beat out the 260,000 sulfur we found, but we'll check. And I'm gonna go seal this thing off before we check. All right, all sealed off. And didn't see this portion over here. Yet another sleeper, dude. How deep are these guys? Let's start checking that loot, boys. I have high hopes for this. Unless these guys like used everything and failed their raids, we should be getting loaded. And they are all organized, which I love. Weapons in there. Yes, dudes! 78 C4, this is what I'm talking about, 70. 80 rockets actually two more auto turrets can we get anything from that tc as well looks like they crafted most of their stuff up only three tech trash yes twenty-five thousand sulfur boys so i didn't think it was possible but we beat yesterday's jackpots with today's jackpots insanely rich now guys probably the richest person on the server came here with 100 c4 we literally used half of it to raid both sides of the cave because this dude had sheet metal walls and it might be a counter coming in, but we do have a turret and it's all sealed up, so we should be fine. Anyways, I think that's all the boxes. I don't even know if I'm going to blow this armored door. I think we'll leave that up. We saw boom, TC and everything. Going to finish loading up on the rest of this stuff, but I'm super happy after these past couple days of raids. So about a week ago, we weren't seeing anything good, but these past couple days have made up for everything. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow in another raiding video. Gonna try to get up early so that we can hit some clans that aren't all completely online. Stay tuned for that, get subbed, and I'll see you guys soon.